I'm Anil Kumar, sharing with you questions from recent test papers. Here is the one uh, from applications of polynomial division. Uh, the question here is, the volume of rectangular box is x cubed plus 3x square minus 6x minus 8 centimeter cube. The box is x plus 4 centimeter long and x plus 1 centimeter wide. How high is the box? So that is the question for you. You can pause the video, copy the question, answer, and then look into my suggestion. Here is copy of my question. It says the volume of a rectangular box is x cubed plus 3x square minus 6x minus 8 centimeter cube. The box is x plus 4 centimeter long and x plus 1 centimeter wide. How high is the box? Now we know volume is equals to length times width times height. Since we want to find the height, we need to divide volume by length times width. That's the concept, right? We know the volume. We need to find length times width and then we'll divide and get our solution, correct? So let us first uh, find what is length times width. Length times width is x plus 4 times x plus 1. So when you multiply that, you get x squared plus x plus 4x plus 4 or x squared plus 5x plus 4. So that is the length times width. And now we can find height by dividing volume which is x cubed plus 3x squared minus 6x minus 8. So this expression will now be divided by, so we'll divide this by the expression x squared plus 5x plus 4, correct? So that is how the question is to be done, right? So I've just given you the background and now let us divide and find the answer. So, so we'll divide on the right side. We are dividing x cubed. All the terms are there, so we'll just write them as such. 3x squared minus 6x minus 8 by product of x plus 4 and x plus 1, which is x squared plus 5x plus 4, correct? So you have to take care of the first term, three terms, okay, x times x cubed plus 5x squared plus 4x. And when you take away, you get minus 2x squared and here you get minus 10x. Bring down minus 8. You need to multiply by minus 2, right? So when you do minus 2 times, you get uh, minus 2x squared minus 10x minus 8. The remainder as expected is 0. And this quotient is our height, correct? So we get therefore the height in our case h is equals to x minus 2. Don't forget to write the units, we'll say centimeters. You get the idea, right? So that is how the question should be solved. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.